She played the spoiled and conceited Blair Warner on the 80s sitcom The Facts of Life. But after the show's cancellation, actress Lisa Welchel dropped out of Hollywood. Where is she now? Well, as Gina Silver reports, Welchel is teaching The Facts of Life to some very special students. You know what I find attractive? Someone who tells you you're gorgeous. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. They all tell me that. <laughs> Blair was so much fun to play. So much fun. And Ten years after Facts of Life was canceled, 35-year-old Lisa Welchel can still turn on that Blair charm. Oh, just had another one of my brilliant ideas. The truth is, the Facts of Life for Blair, the TV character... I have lots of cousins. The Southampton Warners. Mm, the Palm Beach Warners. And the Facts of Life for Lisa, the real person who played Blair, are like night and day. Ford, we thank you for this day. And we thank you for the op opportunity to be at home. I was raised in a very small town in Texas, and certainly not wealthy. And um, hopefully I'm a little nicer th than she is. After nine years of being on the sitcom, Lisa said goodbye to her co-stars, married her love, Stephen Cobble, a pastor at her church, and walked away from the Hollywood glamour. Now she wouldn't trade this for any acting gig. A chance to homeschool her three kids, nine-year-old Tucker, seven-year-old Haven, and six-year-old Clancy. The torture begins. The torture begins. Yes, it's math time. For Lisa, a devout Christian, the decision to stay home with the kids here in Santa Clarita, California, was not as difficult as you might imagine. Well, I enjoy spending time with them. You know, that's a real a reward, just to get to be with them. I enjoy that very much. Also, I don't have to work backwards in that the, thing, the, the values that I want to instill in them, I have 24 hours to do that. I, I don't have just a little segment of time at the end of the day. Isn't it difficult to homeschool three kids all different ages? It takes a lot of time, a lot of juggling, um, a lot of patience. Um, but I don't know that it's difficult. It, it's as far as, you know, I'm, I'm pretty up on my third grade material. And Lisa says when the time comes, she'll also be up on her high school material, especially since she plans on homeschooling her kids until they go to college. That's quite a goal. Every year, the kids are tested to make sure they are at their grade level. As it is, Lisa's day begins at 6 a.m., preparing the daily educational sessions. There's math, English, reading, history, handwriting, piano lessons, and, of course, fun time. <laughs> that is until mom puts an end to it. Okay, recess over. Snack time. So what is it like to have your mom as your teacher? Cool. cool. It is? Is she a tough teacher? Yeah. Uh -huh. The kids know their mom was a TV star, but they aren't too impressed. In fact, they like her role as mom so much better. Clancy, the youngest, already knows what she wants to do when she grows up. I want to be a mom. You want to be a mom. Just like mommy. I adore my children, and I really know that this is best for them. It's best that I'm home. Do you hope to someday go back to acting? I don't know that I hope to, because I'm real excited about other things. I, I'm thankful that I've had a wonderful acting experience. Now I'm going to have a great, you know, family experience. There's always, you know, time for me later on. Well, Lisa is also in the process of writing a children's book. She plans to call it Beyond Bible Stories.